Hello, Carrie from Carrie Chains Me. I had a client contact me because their adolescent puppy has been crying in the middle of the night and waking up the whole household and they have been getting the puppy out of the crate and um, sleeping on the couch uh, with the puppy. So um, wanted to troubleshoot this. Here's some tips on how to troubleshoot this. One, you have to think of why is the puppy waking up? We can automatically think, oh, the puppy's being spoiled and it's looking for attention. Okay, that could be very well be true in terms of the puppy is feeling needy or insecure and wants some affection. Um, the other thing that we want to check is the environment. So why is the puppy waking up at approximately the same time every day? Does it have to go to the bathroom? Does it, um, is it thirsty? Um, is it too hot? Is it too cold? Is the, is it not comfortable? Is there too much noise? Is there too much light? Um, so some things to combat that would be to cover the crate, maybe have a white noise machine or a white app going, maybe a fan if it's too hot, maybe a cooling mat if it's too warm um, as well, or maybe they need extra blankets and extra, you know, to feel, feel cozy and also the location of the crate. So sometimes the puppy needs to have the location of the crate be in proximity to you. So those are some things that would help with um, troubleshooting why, one, why is the puppy getting up in the first place? Um, two, um, if we take the puppy out each time and it doesn't have to eliminate and we're just going to let sleep with it on the couch, the puppy's kind of trained us to let it out when it cries and sleep with it on the couch. So we want to stop that. Now, <clears throat> one of the things is, is if your puppy's crying in the middle of the night, you want to take it out, put it on leash, go down, do the potty, come back up, put them right back in, make it very uneventful, not playing with them, not showering them with tons of affection, not getting them overly excited and riled up or an expectation that play is going to happen or they're going to get a meal. Um, you got, there's another, actually another tip there is, it, are they hungry while they're waking up? Are they thirsty? So you want to check those things as well. Um, and you may need to tweak the times of your, um, your dinner time or potentially add in an evening snack right before bed. So um, those are the things that you will want to do with the puppy. But if you um, take the puppy out and you put it on the couch and you sleep with it, then the puppy is going to know that when they are experiencing some discomfort, that if they cry loud or cry long enough that you will come and do this. But first troubleshoot the things that I mentioned. Is it too hot, too cold? Are they hungry? Are they thirsty? Do they need to eliminate? Is there too many sounds going on? And is it not dark enough? Um, and if all of those things are good and you've troubleshooted those, then sometimes it's okay to ignore your puppy when they cry. Now, because this owner has been taking the puppy out of the crate and created a habit once you create a habit and a routine um, well now the puppy is going to have potentially a, what's called an extinction burst where things get worse before they get better meaning it may complain louder now because it's like what the heck why aren't you listening you were coming every night at 2 a.m to console me and now you're not so what the heck is going on so you might want to um, be prepared for for that so any questions shoot me a message i'd love to help and best of luck raising puppies it's not for the faint of heart but they definitely fill our hearts with joy <laughs>